We, we think of Pat and talk about Pat daily. What do you miss most about him? You know, probably his sense of humor. His smile would just light up the room, and everybody would pay attention to him. This father also remembers his son, Pat, as a dad. The other thing that I really miss about him was how he was with his daughter. And he'd come home at night and sit down for a couple hours with his little one-and-a-half, two-year-old daughter and do two parties. It was Army Staff Sergeant Patrick Hamburger's skills as a marksman and flight engineer that put him in Afghanistan aboard a Chinook helicopter packed with special ops troops hunting terrorists in August of 2011. The decision was made to send them in, and 150 yards from their landing site, that RPG hit their, their rotor, and that's when they, they crashed. And it spun with such force that it, the G-forces actually killed everybody before they crashed. The 31 heroes we lost were the largest loss of life in the war on terror. Yeah, pretty tough. After a lengthy investigation, the military briefed the families of the fallen on the shootdown. But in the seven years since, questions linger about that risky mission in the dark of night. Well, they left Extortion 17 hoovering over that battlefield for 13 minutes. If it was a lucky shot, it was a lucky shot. Um, I find that very hard to believe from 150 yards out that they could hit a rotor in the dark without night vision. But uh, one of the things that does bother us is that the seven Afghans that were on the manifest for that flight were switched out 30 minutes before the flight took off and the manifest was never updated. Were they set up? We don't know. The military tells us it was a lucky shot um, from an RPG that hit one of the rotors. Even if I don't like what the truth is, I would prefer to know. Mm -hmm. But um, that's not for me. You're not sure you ever will? I don't think we ever will. And so this father has turned his focus to honoring his son and the other men shot from the sky aboard that Chinook. We all kind of look out for each other. In the tough days, you can call them, lean on them. Absolutely. Yep. And they can call us mm -hmm. and do. <sighs> well, it's, it's very, very difficult to live with. But I think the memories that Pat gave us in the 30 years, um, you know, he was in my life. Uh, you, you cherish those. Pat was an extraordinary, ordinary man. Mm -hmm.